Good morning, good morning. Natalie Korch from the Finca Kankurem. I had to write down all the things I'm going to tell you because today I was in a very talkative mood. So this is my look when I do the cleaning in the house and when I start getting rid of things. Checking my phone here about the time. Yeah, I'm all good. Um, I was telling in German and in Spanish that I have this cup today. Now it's empty. I mean, I drank so much coffee and I drank so much um, peppermint tea out of this cup that I need a little break. Good morning, Lisa. So um, I was uh, going to explain uh, where I got that cup from and in which context. It w was actually a very nice context. I was in Colonia San Jordi in the south of the island with three other friends. And um, so there's this one friend, a Polish woman who lived in Brooklyn for a while, Oleg. And she said to me, um, well, I'm living in New York in Brooklyn. Then there was... Um, my other friend, Sean, an Irish-English guy who said, uh, I live in London. And then there was my friend, Danielle, who lives in Berlin. So she said, I live in Berlin. And I was going, um, we were talking about capitals and big cities. And I was going, uh, I live in Campos. And we were all laughing because I'm here, the year I am, the village girl. And they were all like in these cool big cities. And then we were looking at each other and I said, well, I, I feel kind of stupid. I want to be as cool as you are. And then they said, no, you are cool. You did what you wanted to do. You came to live in the Mediterranean Sea and you do what we wanted to do. And we never made it. But so far we keep visiting you. So we were laughing and drinking beer and we were drinking beer out of these cups. So I said, uh, I wonder what I could do to get this cup. Now, the Polish girl said, I can get it for you. And I was like, no, no, don't do that. The English guy said, uh, I'm a little embarrassed to ask. And the German woman said, well, we can buy it, no. And then the Polish girl went to see the waiter and said, my friend Natalie would really like to have that cup. Can we have it? And he said, yeah, but don't tell anybody. So... Um, as simple as that. No buying, no being embarrassed, no taking it just like that. Simply asking. And I thought this was just such, such a wonderful example to go for what you want in a little ridiculous way. I know. But um, I thought that was really nice. So um, from there, I'm leading you uh, through my little talk to the fact that on the weekend, I didn't stop crying. I should stop watching the news. This is making me depressive and very sad. And um, yeah, and it led to this morning to the discussion that uh, why all of a sudden everybody's going so crazy and helping people that come from war. And why aren't we so helpful? Uh, Buenos dias, Miguel. Why aren't we so helpful with the people that come with the little boats over the Mediterranean Ocean and, and take the risk to, 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 to die in their boats? Why are we so helpful now? And with these people, we aren't. And uh, it was a little awkward discussion. It, was, um, it made me feel very bad because um, I do help a little bit, but... Uh, when when I think about the people drowning in the Mediterranean Ocean, I get, um, of course, I get emotional and it makes me sick. And But it's like, yeah, the government should take care of this. I can help a little bit. But then if you take some of those people in your house, you, um, you are doing a crime. So it's a whole different story, I think. But... Um, I do not have a, a fixed opinion to this. I think both should be helped equally, and I don't know why it's not happening. Mm -hmm. Maybe because the others are Europeans. Maybe it's so far away. Africa, it's far away. I don't know. But the person this morning was really upset and was saying, what about all the, because he was using the term, he was saying, what about all the Muslims and black people that come over here and we let them drown and nobody helps them? And I was like, oh, okay, I've, I've, I didn't think about that. So, good morning, Rolf. Um, I didn't think about that. So, there was one thing, and uh, I have to think about that. And I will talk to my friend Laia, who works for Amnesty International, and I want to know how are their rights and what they, and what they can do once they get here. And then I was going to tell you that um, when I wear my long hair, 
Uh, I do this usually on Fridays in the restaurant Servino because um, I started back singing again together with um, Angel Maldonado, guitar and voice and um, backing tracks, of course. We sound like a big band, but we're not. And I do a lot of soul and funk and Stevie Wonder. And uh, I think soon I'll be the Stevie Wonder, the, the, the Stevie Wonder cover band in Campos. So much Stevie Wonder, Jesus. And some blues music, Eric Clapton. And we do this in the restaurant to Savini next Friday at 7 o'clock we start. We do three sets. Since I like singing, the sets are pretty long. Um, sometimes uh, Claudia has to come in to say you can make a pause. But I'm so happy when I sing. So I keep singing and singing and singing. And um, this woman is doing a great job, a great job. It's a nice little restaurant. She got her restaurant through the pandemic. And um, yeah, it's a nice ambience. Lisa, when you come here in May, I take you there. I'll take you there. That's a Mavis Staples song, right? <laughs> okay. So um, I see you guys on Thursday. Go back to sleep and uh, stay wonderful and stay beautiful.